Daggum beer cans. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, hey, what's going on? On today's episode of the Home Renter, you know what? I'm not even ready to talk about it yet. <sighs> Reviewed. Okay, now we can talk. So, on today's episode, I'm an idiot. I got on Scamazoo and got me one of these here grills for S Escalade. And I tried to put hot dogs and stuff on it, and it won't get hot. I laid it out in the sun, and it got pretty hot, but it wouldn't cook nothing. So, I opened up the paperwork, and... There's not really any instructions. I mean, it says parts list. Step one, identify the grill and hardware with parts list. Okay, well, it's all there. Step two, optional, pop the hood. Well, how else are you going to get the grill out of this thing? Remove the black plastic cover on top of OEM grill. Well, it's all one piece is what I'm trying to tell you. You know, and then it says if you're unable to access the rear of the grill, remove the grill shell according to the OEM specifications in your owner's manual. This ain't 1932. It's not telling you how to adjust your valves. This owner manual tells you don't drink the contents of the battery. Don't pee in the washer reservoir. Don't put antifreeze in your oil thingy-ma-bobber. You know, that kind of stuff. You know, because millennials, they just, I don't know, if it's liquid, they're going to drink it, I guess. But what I'm saying, there's no... And, I mean... Those are garbage. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to tear up my grill that's got nothing wrong with it. Probably take the machine and just cut it out of there. And I don't know. I'll probably wind up using duct tape and coat hangers or something and putting it in. But I'm going to try to put it in with some hardware and see what we get. I really wanted this grill in there. And well, I just thought it was like an overlay. They'd go over the thing there and. You know, just pop this out, pop that out, you know, like that, and just put it on there. It's like I broke a nail. Well, I'm going to get some tools and make sure I got a battery for my machine. And I'm just going to see if I can put a hole in my AC sensor and... I don't know. Maybe I just take the grill out and put it over top of the trash can and cut it, let it all fall in there. What I'm saying is, I need a minute to think. Ricky, I don't know. No, no, no. I'm not putting double sided tape on it. I'm not super gluing it. I'm not epoxying it. I'm not, no. I'm, I want to, I want it right. Eventually, I want to take this truck and let people look at it and say, hey, that's a pretty fine rig you got there. Who built that? I did. No, probably won't happen that way. Somebody will laugh at it and say, whose piece of crap is that? And I'll just turn my head and go, I don't know. It was there when I got here. But, you know, I'm going to try to do it right. So I need some more PB blaster. And I got to go down and get some more out of the microwave. I mean, the, the stuff, it gets cold. Uh, refrigerator yeah that's it probably ought to put some in my cooler bag so i'm not running in and out because mama bunny's in there rearranging the house and it looks like a death scene from independence day the movie i'm not kidding you so i'm gonna go get another pbr pb blaster get myself refueled 
kind of get this thing to go away, you know, get it smoothed out. Because I'm going to be using that Hitacha Racha Bratatao and cut this thing out of here. Maybe while I'm in there, I'll find that 10 millimeter wrench I've been looking for for three weeks. Who knows? Okay, so last thing, second. You're going to need, give it to me. I like to use a quarter inch drive ratchet. You don't need an extension, but I got a little three inch extension here. A seven millimetre El Sacato. Make sure you're going the right way. Right tight, left loose for those of you that don't know. And those of you that do know and conveniently forget each time you do something. El Felipe Scooter Diver. Take these corner lights out right here. Now, I got my old trusty snap on pocket magnetic screwdriver that I've had for 30 years, I guess. The end of it's magnetic, so when you get those screws loosened up and you don't want to drop them all over the place, you can just kind of pull it out of there, put it somewhere. Now, what I like to do, I got one of these, what are they called, neo or whatever. Super strong magnet. I just take it and put it like on the core support like that. And my screws, I lay them next to it and it sucks them together and holds them. I just hit my fingernail on my ring and that tickled. I'm already bleeding. Look, I mean, I haven't even done nothing yet. But we're going to take El Felipe here and pull these corner lenses off. Pull the bulbs loose. Get them out of the way. Take the uh, 7 millimeter screws out of the grill surround. Take it off and I got my trusty Rumpke trash can over here. It's from last week's trash that I washed it out, but evidently there's still something in there and the flies are just everywhere. So we'll be fighting them through the process. So <sighs> refueled. I got cold snack cans everywhere. Mama Bunny's going to kick my butt. So <clears throat> on these corner lights, you've got a Phillips screw top, bottom, on the side next to the grill bezel. You pull these screws out. You rotate it out like this here. And there's a clip behind here, and it slides out. Don't try to rip it because you'll break the tab. And then your lights will look like flipper. Now, I'm going to show you why I keep this little magnetic screwdriver. Now, I get it just about out like that. And I take this old trusty, if I can get it out of the daggum grill, and I stick it on there like this. See? It's right there. It's not down there. I'm not crawling on my knees and cussing and trying to figure out where it went. Then... It's not falling off now. Who'd have thunk it? <clears throat> now, you know, homeless freight makes them little magnetic parts trays that work a little better than that. But I don't have one right now because, like I told you, my ex-wife took off with everything that I own, even my underwear. I had to buy new underwear. Some of those underwear I've had since I was 12. So, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say, fellas, fellettes, guys and gals, and he's and him's and hers and 
she's and it's or whatever. Be careful. Because just because you think you love someone doesn't mean they're the right one. Don't trust them with everything right out the gate. Because you might lose everything right out the gate. Ask me how I know. No, let's not do that. So, them two screws are out. You gonna take this light? Let me adjust this camera a little bit, cause y'all. I hear you, Ricky. I know you're trying to figure out what I'm doing. Grab it, rotate it out, and pull it just like that. And there it is. You got the little peanut bulb over here. You got these two. You gotta click the little keepers on there and rotate them left loose again, and then. You know, it just comes out like that. And you just throw it over here. No, you don't throw that. These are hard to find. I'm not throwing these. I'm putting these in the back seat. Hey, look, there's those instructions that don't have nothing on them. Okay, so that side's out. I wish I had my LED bulbs that I'm going to put in here, but I don't because I'm a moron and I didn't want them. Let's get this other side out. I probably should be using my drill, but why? Spending time with my friends and family here. Why make it short and sweet? We haven't seen each other for a while. Hey, that's, I think my adjuster shot on that light. These are those new lights that I got. Well, they're not you, new, they're new to me, but they, uh, somebody tried to adjust them and didn't know what they were doing. So when I build my custom lights, I'm going to use my old housings because all that still works good. Okay, now that's out of the way. I'll get y'all back over here where you can see a little better. Now we're going to take old 7 millimetre and pull these bolts out of here. And I got a couple missing. There's one down here. Back behind the corner light you took out on either side. There's two on each side. And then there's supposed to be one, two, three four up top. I've got three. It was like that when I got it. If y'all go back and look at the first video where I introduced Project S Escalade to you guys, you'll see it had a white grill. I hit it with a spray can just to make it look better because it looked silly. And uh, all the screws wasn't in it. So I've walked past 15 different GMT 400 platforms at the junkyard and I keep forgetting to grab extra screws. So next time we're out there, Ricky, remind me. And don't over tighten these things because they're brittle. They're old. They get hot. You know, they're in the sun and you got heat from the engine, you know, it's just just common sense. Don't over tighten the stuff. I still got tape on these screws from when I put them in so they wouldn't fall out because I was doing it practically blindfolded in the dark. You take a little piece of masking tape and put it over the end of the screw and stick it in the socket and it holds it in place. You can do the same thing with a little piece of butyl sealant or even a plastic bag. Works pretty good. It gives that little bit of resistance up against that screw and holds it on there so you can not drop it and look for it for three days. Don't ask me how I know that. Once again, it's, it's experience, guys. It's experience. 
you mess stump something up so many times and you can learn from experience and i can pass that knowledge on to you guys make sure you bring your ratchet with you because if not <clears throat> you're not going to get it loose it is hot out here today i'm not sure what the temperature is but i bet it's ever bit of a hundred and you know I haven't had my garage put in yet, so I'm out here, typical home rancher fashion, out here in my driveway. It's an absolute mess doing this. Why? Why does home rancher do that? Because, well, I got stuff I need to do. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to sit and procrastinate on it. I've procrastinated long enough on this grill. It's been sitting in there for, it's been sitting in the back seat of SS Glade here for, I think, almost two months. I was more focused on getting that fuel pump straightened out and getting it back together so I can drive it. And I neglected cosmetics. Cosmetics is nothing. You've got to be able to drive your vehicle to do what you need to do to make the money to do other things. And, well... I got to go to work, you know? I don't have a big, huge channel with 1.57 million subscribers, and I'm not monetized. I don't make no money off none of these videos. I just do it. I would love to be monetized. I would love to have you guys all over my videos and enjoying my content, but y'all don't even like or subscribe or comment. Now, there's a few of you. There's a few of you that like me. And then there's a few of you that watch me and don't say nothing. Say hi. Click, clack it down in the comments. Say hi, home rancher. How you doing? You know, coming Monday, Mama Bunny's going to interview me. And y'all are going to learn all about me. So be sure to stay tuned and check that out. Special Labor Day edition of the Home Renter. You get to learn all about me. What makes me tick? What gives me gas? What makes me laugh? And why I do what I do? And who my inspirations are? Now, see, I was sitting there telling you guys don't to over torque it because you'll crack the grill. And all I did was take it off and my corner broke off. So I'm going to get me a washer and Take care of that when we get back to it. I don't feel so bad if I mess this grill up now. Because now if I mess it up, I just order a new one. Because I don't like that. All right. Screws are out. Screws are up there out of the way. Pull her off. Excuse me, I'm sweating in my eyeball and it burns. All right, so I'm going to set this up over here on the trash can. I'm going to reposition the camera, and then we're going to take a look. Look at that nasty clear coat shit that come off. <sighs> okay, so I got it set up on the stinky fly attractor here. We're going to take our grill and set it up here and see where it needs to be. Now, it'll slide in place. But I don't want to see that ugly piece behind it. It says you're supposed to cut it, so we're going to cut it. And I'm going to flip it over here and see where things go. Ah, okay. That's simple enough. I see exactly what a guy has to do now. So we're going to cut. Let me get the camera and bring you guys in here so y'all can see at home. Okay, so this is a tab for the grill. One there. One on the bottom over here, it slid out. Up top, it comes up here like this. And then this side, same way down in there. So what we got to do is this natural line right here. We're going to cut that out on each one and leave as little as possible because we're going to sand that back and frost some black paint over it. And we're going to go all the way around. And we're going to cut this grill out of here. And then we're going to attach 
the hardware and the clips to the housing of the grill that's still there when we're done. So let me get my ta -ta 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 -ta, chop, chop, chop out, and I'm going to get this trimmed up. Now, I'm making sure I cut around the lower clip for the screw that mounts it. We'll clean that up a little bit once we get it the rest of the way out. Now I'm using a dull blade because I don't want to overcut and break something. And we're just making sure we're broke free from where we need to be broke free. And we'll come back and trim it up a little bit with a file or a sander. Coming out pretty good, pretty easy. Just going to watch what we're doing here and just take our time and not destroy our grill so it'll fit back in there properly.
getting a little loose in there. There it is, it's out. So now we're gonna mock up our grill and see what else we may need to trim. And then go from there. Yep, turn it over, Dunny. That sits in there so much better now. Yep. So I'm going to mark the holes that I need. I'm going to trim this little piece here off a little better. And uh, sand and clean this up where I scratched it, where the chrome surround is that I blacked out. Sand all this back down. And I think a guy is going to go ahead after I get it my holes mocked up and where it's going to fit take it back apart and i'm going to repaint this grill and then we'll put her back in so i'm going to finish doing some trimming and cleaning here and we'll be right back in a minute okay so pretty much what i'm doing right now is trying not to step on the grill that i carelessly laid down there in my walkway i got my homeless freight bauer angle grinder here and I'm just going through here and just buzzing this down semi-flush. And then I did some thinking, you know. This thing's got pits in it. Bugs hit it. You know, I don't really go for the shiny on a grill anyways. So I'm going to sand it back. And I got a can of this Duplicolor truck bed liner stuff. And I'm just going to spray the whole thing with that. And that'll hide any ugly up in here. And give me a nice textured finish, a fine texture, not a heavy texture. And I think that's going to be the look I'm looking for. Because I really don't like the shiny grill on this truck. And, you know, the actual grill insert is powder coated textured. So I think it'll flow together nicely. And then I'm going to put one of my little SS logos in the corner of the grill. And I think we're going to be just fine. I got a flapper disc on here, so it's 180 grit. So we're just taking it down, smoothing it out a little bit. That's all we're doing. Slow and steady wins the race. Rome was not built in a day. Take your time, guys.
I guarantee you that's good enough for Mama Bunny. So it's good enough for me. So I'm going to knock all this shrapnel off of here so I don't get it all in my paint. And uh, set my grill in there, set it where I want it, and then I'm going to mark my spots where my holes need to be. I'm going to drill my holes, put my hardware in, rough fit it, make sure it's where I want it, make a couple marks so I know where to put it back. Then we're going to scuff this thing down and put some of that truck bed liner on there and let it dry, reassemble, and put it back on this Escalade. We'll be back in a few minutes. I need another cold snack. Where did I put that thing at? Oh, I'm getting low on energy. No, not yet. refueled okay so we lined it up mama bunny held it i forgot to hit the button on the camera and i took a sharpie and i marked general direction of all my holes which doesn't matter if they're perfect because you can wall them out because it's nuts and bolts and it comes with these screws and u-bolt clips here and <clears throat> for the bottom, we're just going to put them in, line it up, and run the screws through the bottom to zip it in, and then get the top where we want it, and I'm going to wall it out a little bit more, and then it's got some hardware and some other little spacers to help line it up. Make sure you do this over your trash can. That way when you drop your screw, you got to dig through garbage. That's what you're supposed to do. Got a few threads on that, so we're good. Put this other U-nut clip on. Grab Mr. Felipe. And Felipe, if you're watching, I'm sorry, I'm not making fun of you, buddy. I just, I've always called this an El Felipe screwdriver. It's a joke from back when I was a kid. My dad had too many cold snacks, and that's, well, that's what he called it, an El Felipe screwdriver. And it was pretty funny. So it kind of stuck. That's simple enough. Looking pretty good, too, might I say. So now, I'm going to open these holes up a little more, see what I need, and then uh, put this other hardware and spacers in and get it mocked up where I like it. <clears throat> and then we're going to uh, take it back apart and uh, get it scuffed down and put that old bed liner on there. So we'll be right back. My hardware's in place. I like the way it's sitting. It's even. It's got the right spacing that I need. It's flush where I want it. It's recessed where I want it. It's got good character. It's not bent all up. It's not bowed out. Looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to take the grill back out. And I'm going to prep this and get it sprayed. So, the guy's back. I uh, went ahead and wet sanded that with 320 and a red scotch bright to get down in all the cracks and crevasses to make sure everything's scuffed good so it'll adhere. I also got some adhesion promoter that I'm going to spray on there first and let that flash 
and then I'll spray the old Dupli color on there. Right now it's just sitting out in the sun, drying up. I'm gonna blow it off, uh, make sure it's all good and wipe it down with some spray away window cleaner and a lint free rag and then put my adhesion promoter on it. We'll go from there. We'll be right back. Well, first thing we're gonna do, that's all cleaned up. Now remember guys, this thing is not a perfect grill. It's, it's got chips out of it, dings and chunks that was out of the chrome. That's why I painted it black to begin with. I just don't know if I wanna buy one right now. I may find a used one that's in better shape and do something with that. But for right now, I just want it to look different than what it does and look better but I don't want it to be like everybody else's. Some of you are probably cringing saying, what is this dumb redneck doing? He's gonna put bed liner on his grill. Well, just, just hold your horses there. Just pull them by the reins and hold back and just wait. Look at the final product and you might change your mind. But if you don't like it, that's you. But this is my truck. This is what I'm doing. And you know, there's eight, 10, 12 of you that may not like it, but you know, the rest of you, might think it's a good idea and you might like it so we're going to use this bulldog adhesion promoter there's no rattle ball in it just make sure it's good and shook we've wiped this down with some spray away window cleaner and a lint free rag we're going to put a coat of this on there and let it bond and bite into everything when it tacks up we're going to go ahead and start laying this bed liner in a fine pattern we're not going to lay it on heavy we're going to put it on nice even and fine Almost like a smooth surface with a light wrinkle, just like that grill. Now, some of you body guys may have access to a shop and you may have some DuPont 222. Same thing. It's an adhesion promoter. SEM Products also makes a plastic and leather adhesion promoter for their interior products that can be used as well. Something that gets into the resins of this plastic and it softens it up and lets the material that you're spraying soak into it. A lot of people painting plastics and bumpers and stuff without using any type of adhesion promoter. This has a flex agent in it that also lets it flex a little bit. You know, just in case you hit that grocery cart at Walmart or whatever. Gives you a little extra flexibility. This ain't gotta be perfect, it ain't gotta be shiny. You just want it uniform and covered. And make sure you hit all the corners and edges. That way you know that you have Okay, so that looks okay. I'm not worried about little specks of trash because I'm putting texture on it. So as long as it's uniform in color, who cares? We've had a few minutes. We've let it set up. It's uh, it's good. Been sitting here and getting tennis elbow for ten minutes, shaking this up, and uh, getting tennis elbow over here, tilting this up. <sighs> Refueled. Put this down. And I'm gonna start spraying. I like to hit all my insides and my edges first. That way I know I got coverage. Turn it upside down, spray a little bit. There we go. Now this stuff you want to move kind of quick.
and try to keep it even and smooth. I mean, yeah, it's texture, but you want to keep it looking kind of uniform and all the same is what I'm trying to say. Your first coat is important because that's what gives you your texture. You want to back up. You want to get a little closer. I'm just evening out the texture right now. Now we're out here in the direct sun, so that's why I keep applying it. It's drying up just as quick as I can apply it, pretty much. Let me get you in here and show you. See, now it's got a nice textured finish. And that's what I kind of want, you know. I, uh, I think this will look better than what I had going on. I don't really care for much chrome and shiny and all of that. I mean, my paint should be shiny, but I like my trim and other things to be different, unique, different than everybody else. I'm going to get the grill and kind of set it up here and see what she looks like. Because I may decide I want to spray the grill too. So, got me another PB blaster. And I uh, set the grill up there. And I actually like the contrast. It's a very, very subtle difference in sheen and i think it gives it character and kind of draws your eye to the grill itself and that's kind of the look that i'm going for i want things to accent each other not just blend together so we're going to let this finish drying i got a little spot right here that i want to address a little bit that i've got to dust some more texture in to kind of uniform it a little bit and then uh we're going to assemblage the thing and put it back in s escalade and put my little ss logo i think i'm going to put on there which i think will look pretty neat once again y'all guys can hate me and say it's tacky or whatever but i'm trying it i'm seeing what it looks like i may decide to take it off i may get a new modern style escalade emblem and put it right in the center of the grill but i'm thinking that little red ss right in the bottom driver's side corner kind of like the camaros and whatnot to go with my theme of s escalade i guess we'll see what it looks like we'll be back shortly well we're back around here and 
I'm going to go ahead and put the grill in and uh, tighten everything up, make sure it's good. Then we're going to reinstall and decide whether or not I'm going to put that emblem on there or not. I'm going to go ahead and button this up and I'll show you guys what we did here in just a second. So I got it back in, ready to put together. I got my wonderful mama bunny out here to help me. Love you, man. Love you too. You want to help me put this grill back up there? Sure. All right. It's in. Kind of looks like a Yukon grill, but it'll be a little different once I get it in there. So let's set it up there and see what we get. Well, so far it's in. And if I say so myself, it looks like crap. No, I mean, it actually looks pretty good. What do you think, Mama Bunny? Mean Machine? Should I change it to the Mean Muscalade? Yeah. No, I ain't doing that. That sounds like something I would have said in kindergarten. Look at my Mean Muscalade! What the hell? I gotta... <laughs> I gotta get a washer and fix that thing that broke over there and... Get some other things set up. But I'm going to get that little SS logo, and I'm going to hold it up here real quick. I'm going to let Mama Bunny look at it. I'm going to look at it, and then we're going to decide whether we're going to put it on or not. All right, guys. Let me know. Clicky-clack it down in the comments. Put it down in the computer box down there in the below in the comments, and tell me what you guys think. I think it looks pretty good. Well, I'll finish buttoning this up, and then we'll get a final shot. I think I made a good choice. Yeah, I gotta fix that. But look at that. Just the right texture. Gives it a different stance. And I think that little SS logo looks fine on there, honestly. What y'all guys think? Make sure you put it down in the comments and tell me what you think. So, let's get the family out here and see what they think. They didn't help me today because they've been inside helping Mama Bunny rearrange and get things ready in the kitchen. Okay, guys, come on over, check it out. Tell me what y'all think. AJ, what do you think? Pretty cool. You like that? Does that look neat? What about you, Christoph Er? Awesome. What does it look like? Does it look cool? Does it look mean? Does it look... Cool. Looks like it's going to transform into a transformer. Right. I mean, maybe it's maybe it's Megatron. What do you think, what do you think Dominic? Do you don't know? You don't like it? Well, you're just thinking about driving it, huh? Yeah, that's all you want to do is get in it and listen to Morgan Wallen, right? Yeah. Huh. Well... Let's close out this video. Well, that's going to be all for today's episode of The Home Wrencher. Next time, we're going to get out here and do something, and we're going to have Dominic, Christoph Er, and AJ helping out, and maybe even Mama Bunny, too. Who knows what's coming next? But we do have a surprise coming to the channel, and you'll know here soon what we're doing. And also, don't forget, stay tuned, because Monday, Mama Bunny is going to interview me, yours truly, the home rancher, so y'all can get an up-close and intimate portrait of me and who I am and what makes me tick and why I do what I do and why I want to do what I'm trying to do. And if they have any questions, they should comment. Right. So if there's any questions that you'd like to hear for Monday's interview, put them down in the comments. and. We'll go through them. I mean, don't ask me what color underwear I'm wearing or like, I think black. it's blue, blue and black, I think. But, <clears throat> you know, just things that you'd like to know. I'd be more than happy to let you guys know. We're trying to build this channel. We're trying to do more as a family on here. And these boys have some surprises coming soon, too, that we're going to bring to the channel. We're going to build some things and more projects. But with that being said, I want you guys to have an amazing safe and blessed Labor Day weekend, and be sure to stay tuned Monday for my interview. So with that being said, I got something in my pocket I want to show you guys.
Oh, we all got something to show you. So, you know, we got to close this off right. So, <sighs> refueled. <sighs> That's pretty good. You want to try a beer? Here. You want a beer? No, you can't have a beer. We all got Fago. Fago. Now, Mama Bunny's got a PB blaster. You like PB blaster? Delicious. When are the koozies coming out? Soon. This week, forever. Okay, well, y'all make sure you put it down in the comments, too, if you want one of them koozies with the First PB you blaster. That comment, I'll send you one for free. There you go. And we got some home wrencher shirts and stickers coming also. So if you, the, the first two people that comment will also not just get a koozie, you will get a vinyl sticker that you can put on the back of your window, on your car, on your toolbox, on your dog's butt. I mean, whatever you want to put it on. I mean, I don't, if you want to put it on your forehead and dance around and say, ooka shaka, ooka, ooka, ooka shaka, just do what you want to do. I don't care. I'm an idiot. They're dorks. We're all idiots. We're dorks. We're morons. We enjoy having fun and making people laugh. So until next time, y'all have a great day. And God bless each and every one of you. I love all of you. One more for the road. <sighs> Revealed.